Good morning, YouTube. Uh, long time no speak. Uh, apologies for that. I've, I've been off uh, uh, a little while. I've had, I've had uh, quite a lot going on uh, over the Christmas period. And that reminds me, uh, a very belated uh, Happy Christmas and Happy New Year to you all out there. Um, so, I hope, you, hope it was all good for you. Uh, I, my lovely girlfriend got me a Realm of Battle gaming board, which is going to be awesome. So, uh, thank you for that. And uh, that means I'm going to have a, uh, a, a place to display my models now because uh, I'm also moving house come February. So another reason why I've not done met much in the way of videos. Another reason is I've been working on these guys. Uh, these are for the Armageddon campaign, uh, which if you check out my videos, you'll be able to see. And the next 500 points, I wanted to go for minimum models, maximum effect. So I went for a unit of knob, bikers, uh, for my speed freaks, with a pain boy. So, a um, little bit about the models. They took absolutely ages to build, uh, because essentially what I thought was that the bodies of the orc knobs came separately, like they do for the orc boys, uh, in a box of orc knobs, and they don't. They come uh, as uh, a body and legs um, attached, which is interesting. So uh, what I had to do is cut the legs off and then try and clean up the model a little bit. Uh, I think I've done it on that one. Um, round the waist so it would fit in the orc biker legs. Uh, once that was done, however, the models were reasonably easy to convert. I had some uh, biker knob bodies left over from the biker sets. And I just swapped the parts round for the... Um, Swap like the arms around for the ones in the orc knob set. Really nice models, guys. I love the orc knobs. They're really kind of character for models. You've got these lovely power claws. You've got a brilliant kind of stabber power claw thing here. It's really cool. And you get loads of bionic orc parts in there as well if you want to use it. Now, of course, I wanted to give these uh, orc knob bikers bionic bodies. Um... So I took a Pain Boy, which is uh, one of the GW Finecast ones. Again, exactly the same process. Hacked off the uh, the, the the body, uh, sorry, the legs uh, from the body, and then attached it to the bike. So it took a little while to convert. Um, took a little while to paint as well. Um, as I've said, all these orcs, I want to look like they've got bionic bodies because uh, they're completely WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. So. Um, Rules-wise, guys, this unit is very, very nasty. Um, they've got two wounds each. They've got a four-plus save. They've got a four-plus cover save from their bikes. They've got a five-plus invulnerable from the pain boy. And a five-plus feel no pain, um, which is pretty damn good. They've got uh, boss poles. They've got a wire banner in there, which makes the weapon skill five. They've all got power claws, uh, which gives them four strength, nine attacks on the charge. Plus their hammer of wrath. Their toughness five. Um, the list goes on, really, guys. They're a brilliant unit. I've always liked orc knob bikers, and nobody's ever um, around my way done a unit of them which has has been, you know, orc knob bikers. They've always been orc boys with power claws. So I wanted to do something a bit special, um, as is kind of with the entire army. So and, and here they are. Um, I'm I'm pretty pleased how they came out uh, when I was painting them. They looked a bit naff. Uh, thankfully now they've come together uh, and they look a little bit cooler. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's quite a conversion project, but if you get a chance, uh, definitely get on it. So just to update you with kind of where, uh, where the hobby is at the moment, uh, I'm working on a unit of uh, Forge World uh, Iron Warrior Devastators with missile launchers, unit of 10. For the, uh, for the Istvan game coming up with Templar Crusade Zero One's um, pre heresy campaign. If you've not checked them out, make sure you do. Um, and I've also, as I said before, launched into Operation Manhammer, which I said on my, the end of my previous video, which is Warhammer, um, Warhammer Fantasy. Now, ironically, I said to myself, I said, right, I want an army that's not too many models for Warhammer. Uh, you know, it's easy to paint. You know, it is. Uh, it, you know, it's quite quick to do, and it's tough on the battlefield. So, of course, I uh, picked goblins. So, um, this is Scarsnick and Gobbler, one of my favourite Warhammer models. 
Uh, and the reason I'm doing Operation Manhammer is because I have never collected and painted a full Warhammer army. I've started my empire, I've started my vampire counts, never really got much further on those, so I'm hoping to go a little bit further with the Night Goblins. I'll bring you a separate video for those. Those are my old knobs, guys. Um, thank you for bearing with me. Uh, very close to the 500 now, not far away at all. But... Uh, nearly there and uh, as soon as I'm there I'll run a competition but these are my old knobs thank you very much for watching we've got another club video coming very soon for the next stage of the Armageddon campaign and uh, I'll see you soon take it easy bye bye